but they've come off and well this looks bad and then i've got a blanket up here that i'm gonna have to move because i don't like the way it makes my body. Top of the morning to you folks. Ooh, whatever perspective time you're watching this. Perspective, perspective. I said that wrong. You guys get what I'm saying. It's early. Early morning. You guys know how I like early mornings. It's really not that early. 7.40 Eastern time. That's early enough for me. I'd like to have been gone by now. Not by much. I looked last night, I can't make it to San Antonio. It's 795 miles from here. Um, I'm gonna try. There's a little itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow gloves there. <laughs> um, just west of San Antonio. I'm not even gonna try to go that far. It'll be uh, mountain home, I think, is where it was. I decided I was gonna stop at just because there's that's the that, that section in between San Antonio and um, can't remember the town, the name of the town where I 10 and I 20 split. Um, it's kind of on I 20, it's around uh, Van Horn, but. I can't remember what it is. I don't know what it is there on 10, actually. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I noticed on the video last night, so speaking out in the middle of nowhere, um, I'm going to try to start. That was one of the things that's been brought to my attention, you guys. I'll have really good scenery, and it's I never thought about it. Um, i seen Smith, uh, Smith over there um, on trucking with Schmidt. Um, he does it when he goes into towns and stuff, or, you know, good scenery shots, he'll put the, where it's at down there in the bottom of the screen. Well, I've done that, and one of the things that I've been, I don't want to say messing with, but I guess trying, is the way that it uploads on the screen size. Um, I don't know how it's showing up on smartphones on computer screens, on big screen TVs. I don't know none of that. Um, but I noticed last night, after I had, I was starting, after I started to upload, that um, I had put some of the, the words, the text was down too far. And one of them, the first one, it said somewhere California. And I had put my quotations in the wrong spot. It was just me saying we were somewhere in California because I didn't know where we were. It was out in the middle of nowhere. So there's not a town called, I don't know that there's a town called somewhere in California. There might be. If you're from somewhere in California, raise your hand or put it down in the comments below. Um, anyways, we're going to roll out of here and I guess try to see what we can get done today, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm planning on, I'm gonna have the peanut gallery check the weather. She's got an upgraded version of the weather channel on her phone and it kind of gives it a little bit more detail than the free version. So, see what kind of weather. I know we're running behind some bad stuff. I know they had some real bad snowstorms hit. Um, they were expecting it up around Albuquerque something like they were around in that area but then they got surprised and it went on down or east or west i don't know but it's pretty bad up there on i-40 um and 
I know there were some bad storms went through the Dallas area last night, I believe. Uh, according to the radar, I don't know. So we'll see what we got. I know they do a pretty good job in El Paso. That's where I used to get my truck washed at Rhone. I've got this one washed there once. And um, see if we can't get on across through there. So hang around and we'll see what we can get done today. Appreciate you guys stopping by.
All right, guys, we're here in El Paso now, El Paso, Texas, not Illinois. Um, just got the truck washed. Realized that I forgot to close the latch. Um, check out this Volvo behind me. Large car Volvo. Not bad. I'll give him credit. It looked pretty good. I'm not usually a fan of yellow, but that don't look bad. Just got the truck washed. Got some dinner ate, or supper, lunch, whatever you call it. And they always do a really good job here. Uh, got everything slicked up, ready to go. Oh, I'll show you what. See there, it, it always turns out really well. I've got to fix those. They, they're little sticky things and they just hang there. But they've come off and, well, this looks bad and then I've got a blanket up here that I'm gonna have to move because I don't like the way it makes my box stick out so but yeah it, hey you can see me that's awesome <laughs> oh turns out real well go over on the other side she's taking pictures right now making getting everything ready for the Facebook page so and hoping when we go home this is going to be took care of I'm going to try to get my stainless stuff took care of this time and then go um, come back out I can hit the aluminum with my hand uh, with hand polish right now and make it look a little bit better until I can get back home and fix it the way it needs to be it's a little windy out here I apologize if you can hear it. I don't have the fluffy dead cat on it. So, got the trailer done. Got it all done up. Ours buttered up as some people call it. And sometimes they do real well. Uh, they kind of you know, streak that tire a little bit. But yeah, it looks good. Somebody before me has used writing on this trailer, I believe. That's why it's turned white. And I don't think I was told that we're not supposed to get brightener put on it. I never have anyways, because I can't stand the way it turns everything white. So, but yeah, we're gonna head east. I'm gonna try to make, here, I'll show you Volvo again. Let's see if it can't zoom in. How do I zoom in? Um, I zoom in. It's not bad for a Volvo, I don't guess. Never thought I'd say that. You got the T-bars on the back. Double hump fenders, not bad. It's all about pride in your ride. That's what it is. If, he, if he's happy with it, that's all that matters. So, but yeah, that'll be it, guys. I'm gonna step east. We're gonna try to make it. I think I'm gonna try to make it up to over to um, Mount, not Mount Home. That's in Idaho, Junction, Texas. Uh, there's a couple truck stops over there, and after that, it's really there's hardly anything in there. So, try to head over there and see if, check back in with you. The video will probably be late. Of course, you know that since you're already watching it. Um, just over through that area, there's not a whole lot of signal. So, but I will check back in with you guys here directly. Hang around.
guys, we made it to Junction. It's kind of a short day today. We spent two hours in El Paso. No, two and a half hours. Almost two and a half hours, looks like. In El Paso. I'm getting the truck washed and doing a little photo shoot and eating. And, um, there's a few places that I could go past here, but they're all really small. <clears throat> I don't quite have enough time to make it to um, uh, San Antonio. So, that uh, is what it is. Still got 1,274 miles to go. I'm going to try to get a hold of them and find out. I'm going to try tomorrow. I tried today. It didn't work. Um, I don't really have a good number for them. So, we're going to try tomorrow and see if I can't get that. That's neat. You can see you guys on there. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Um, San Antonio's got some real big truck stops, um, but it was going to be like 790 some miles to get there. I don't have fast enough truck to do that. So we're going to call it quits here in Junction, Texas. It's a pilot. Um, it's just been a, a day of riding in the middle of nowhere. So, not a whole lot's went on. That's the thing about West Texas, there's nothing out here. Uh, if you guys remember there when I was at Rome before I come here, I run in West Texas a lot. But I didn't, I've only run the section from Van Horn to San Antonio three or four times. And that was what I always hated about it, was there was nothing out here. So, but it's all good, it just wears you down. Not as bad as 55 mile an hour in California, though. <laughs> but, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I've been seeing a little bit more interaction on the channel, and it, I've, I've noticed the numbers are going up. Um, as far as the analytics go, and that shows that the algorithm is working a little bit better since there's more interaction. So, yeah, good day today. Um, I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, I think we're eating, I don't know what we're eating, food's all I can take. So, we're going to throw this video together. It might actually upload better than I thought it was going to. The last time I was here, I stopped at this pilot, and there was like negative three bars of signal. <laughs> That's how bad it was. But evidently, 5G or whatever, they've upgraded their service, and it seems to work a little better. So, guys, appreciate y'all stopping by, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all be careful.